Yo, what's going on guys? It is JD here. Hello, welcome back to another episode of the No Innocent Road to Glory. And my goodness, this weekend we have turned into JDBO. Yes, indeed, that has happened. Today we have got the pink diamond box with a Hall of Fame badge in it, which you love to see. We've already opened up, but we've got the clip from the stream. And we have continued to play um, just a little lot of it in the Galaxy Apple tier. And ladies and gentlemen, right about now, that guy on your screen is just one game away 11 and 1 we're going to be playing that game live on stream tomorrow and then in tomorrow's video we will be unpacking and unboxing dark matter bob nestle if we get it if i go 0 for 4 because we've got four chances to get the win if we go 0 for 4 then you know we cry uh, but fingers crossed he'll be coming home and then we can maybe start dismantling the team a little bit but speaking of dismantling the team well it started today hasn't it because we have sold 38 Hoff Badge Kazi and 31 Hoff Badge Thon. We've got both those cash in. We've got 1.7 million MT right now. That will go up hopefully close to 3 million MT. And the team has been playing so well. I need to talk about some of these players that we've got because they are just dumb good. And also the auction house today, it's mad. Um, we had a Jimmy Butler sell for 6.7 million MT. I've just watched a Jimmy with 42 sell for 2 million MT. There is a Mello with 37 that's going for 1.2 million T. There was a Mellow with 39, which sold for 3.7, and I'm not making that up. It happened. 37 Hall of Fame badges went for 3.7 million T. This market is crazy right now, and I don't understand it. But let's jump into it. If you're new to the channel, make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the videos, the daily videos, of course, because, uh, yeah, tomorrow could be Dark Matter Bob Nettelucky. It should be tomorrow, hopefully. And, of course, check out facebook.com slash jdcrossover, where we are playing all these games live on stream, and we'll be getting the 12th win, 12th win tomorrow hopefully so what else have we done today we have done some xp and if we have a look at the push level 40 have a look at the unlimited points i've already scored 646 points in unlimited since yesterday yeah that's right we have been going hard at it and then for the playoffs we've only got four challenges left to do now uh the eight threes and 45 points of jimmy obviously that'll be um you know in the same game brunson's got to get 41 and the warriors threes we just need three more threes and today we did actually play for the first time since like season one I played the pickup challenge because it is for a zero gravity pack. Obviously, I didn't get anything out of it. But hey, I'm probably going to try and do it every day. It's only a three minute quarter game. It's, you know, you can't do loads of challenges in it. But say tomorrow, I could probably do Jimmy Butler's challenge and get 45 points and eight threes. The day after that, I can get 41 points with a Mavs point guard and get that challenge done. So, you know, it, it's not much, but at least it gives you somewhere to do some challenges after you've done all your XP, after you've done all domination. After you're done with the spotlights, uh, it is definitely worth going there, in my opinion. Uh, we have got no packs to open up, of course, because we've already opened up the box. The pink diamond box. We do get a Hall of Fame badge out of it, and I was surprised. We actually got a Galaxy Opal player and two pink diamond players. So, from earlier, here is that badge, that box with Hall of Fame badge roulette in it as well. So we haven't done that in a while, so we decided to do that. So, let's run it. But anyway, let's buy a badge. Just any old badge. I'll take glue hands because it's actually a decent badge. Right, so we'll add in glue hands. And that now means that we have a little red dot. So we don't know if it's going to be a duplicate or a new badge. But let's do this. I don't know what else we've got. Ho hopefully we're going to get some diamond contracts. So far we've literally had one from the diamond tier. Um, and hopefully there's some yeah, diamond players, pink diamond players. So we get some Jordans 30... Is that 32s? Yeah, I think so. Uh, plus four ball control. That's not really doing anything for anybody. Oh, we get an opal player? Hey, you know what? That's all right. We get a diamond contract. You get an opal player out of pink diamond box. Okay. Who's this going to be? Center? D-Rob? Don't worry about it. It's Nikola Jokic. Okay. Oh, is it a dynamic? It's a dynamic range one, isn't it? Good. Okay. I mean, you do get an opal, but... This is another range on. I don't know. Hopefully you'll sell for like 20k. I mean, we'll, we'll take it. It's something at least. It's something. We get another shake. That is a pink diamond this time. We'll do another flip all. Only the one diamond contract so far. So we've had an opal and then we get a pink diamond. I mean, that's not the worst thing in the world. Shooting guard, pink diamond. Is this a dynamic rating? That's Jalen Brown, isn't it? Okay, so you get two dynamic ratings players. I prefer if they're promo players, 2k. But we'll, we'll take it. You know, JB's going to be worth nothing, but... Nikola Jokic will be hopefully worth like 10 or 15k. Hey, where's my Hoff badge? <laughs> Where, where's my Hoff badge at, though? 2k. There it is. So we do get another pink diamond. Can this be another diamond contract? 
No, so we get one diamond contract, two pink diamond players, and one opal player. This should be a promo center. Center, Mavs. Wang. Hey, that's actually sick. He's actually the bottleneck in that uh, Chinese or Lunar New Year set. That's actually sick. I'm pretty sure he comes in at like 30, 40 k. Hey, he was when I sold him. Hey, that's actually a huge ass dub. All right, let's go, Wang. Right, now I'm going to change the screen so you guys can't see what the badge is going to be. So let me chuck you onto the database. You can't see. I'm going to look away. And it is done. Okay, it's done, boys. The badge is in the collection. Hopefully the screen changed, otherwise you would have seen it. Uh, but there we go. Let's send you to the auctions. And I, I don't think Jalen Brown's worth anything. I didn't actually mean to discard him, but, <laughs> you know, it is what it is. Uh, right, Wang comes in at... Yes, indeedy! Oh, fantastic. That's a huge pull, that is. That's massive. That's so much better than we could have expected. Let's sell him for... Uh, it was 55k that hadn't sold. We'll go like 52. We'll go like 52. But that's brilliant. All right, so that's a huge dub. We've got the contract as well. So maybe we made 100,000 MT from that box, which we're not mad at. But of course, the main attraction is a Hall of Fame badge. Let's go. Let's get rocking. Let's get rolling. We already have got difficult shots. I've got my list in front of me, so now I know. Yeah. Yeah, we already had difficult shots, so that's fine. Oh, no. Did I already have two fearless finishers, actually? I feel like I already had a duplicate. I feel like we got a duplicate from somewhere before and I've already been this disappointed. Did I already have two? I'm sure I did. Or am I trying to tell myself I did for the sad fact that I could be a duplicate now? Oh, I'm sure I had a duplicate. I should have written down duplicates. Did I already have a dupe? I'm sure I did. A fearless. It sounds, it sounds right. I already had two. I thought I did. Right, uh, one acrobat we had. I'm, I'm sure I did. We had one brick wall. We had one post spin. I think so, I think so. Yeah, I think so as well. The thing is, when it's a duplicate, you just really don't care about it, like, at all. So you don't even think about it. Uh, glue hands would have been top tier. Looking for glue hands, bullet passer. Uh, we already have pickpocket and rim protector. And sadly, it is not... Rim Protector, that is sad. No chase down I would have taken. We already have Box. Don't want Clamps. I don't want Defensive Leader. Quick Chain with Pake. Any Playmaking Badges would be great. Interceptor would have been amazing. Intimidator, not so much. It's not a Hook Specialist. Don't want another Posterizer. I'd take an Off Ball Pest, but it's not. I would have definitely taken a Rebound Chaser. Pogo we had. Post Lockdown, it's not. Mismatch I'd have taken. That would have been a brilliant badge. Take Worm. Oh, we could have Box and Worm. Back down, it's not rise up. Okay, that's good. I'd have taken lucky number seven because nobody has it. Circus would have taken. I'll take anything, 2k, that's going to be worth something, please. <laughs> I'll take any badge right now. Where is it? Rhythm Shooter would have taken. Slither, I don't really want. Bailout, I'll take. No. Downhill, everybody has, so I didn't want that. It's not Dream Shake. We already had handles for days. It's not Needle Threader. We get the worst badge in the game. We get the most useless badge in this game. Set shooter. Ay ay ay. Uh, literally the most useless badge. If you don't know, you have to stand still for two whole seconds before taking a shot before it uh, activates. Uh, it's an absolute stinker. It's not a. It's it's not a duplicate. It is a new badge, but it is the worst badge in the game. Oh no. So there we have it. We managed to get ourselves Hall of Fame <sighs> set shooter. Big sad. Um, but it is a new badge. It's not a duplicate. Um, so yeah, we've got 16 Hall of Fame badges now to play with. And we have got quite a bit of MT to play with as well. Now, Kazi Russell, it was pretty much impossible to know what he's going to sell for because there's not been any Kazi Russells like our one up for sale since we bought that one. Uh, we bought it with... 38 Hall of Fame badges. I didn't add any to it. You can get a 26 for um, 84k right there. That's not bad. Um, we bought it for 440. I thought that was a very good price. I thought that was an absolute steal. Uh, and there's not been another one up for 30 or more as far as I'm aware. And then Thon Maker. Now this one 
It was different because we bought him for 380 and I thought that was an absolute steal at the time. I couldn't believe how cheap I got him for. I thought 380 was, um, yeah, absolutely nothing. And five minutes before mine sold, and again, I'm not making this up, you can watch it on stream. Five minutes before mine sold, one sold with 25 Hall of Fame badges. Bear in mind, mine had 32 or 31. 31. Mine had 31. It had 25. It was graded and it's over 600,000 MT. Today, the market has been wild. Um, and I think this is, yeah, there you go. There's your mellow. I was thinking about buying that mellow. I am not long, I'm no longer thinking about buying that mellow. 30, 37 and a half. Are you kidding me? Like, you, you're taking the mick. Not even got rim protect. Like, what, what are we doing out here? People who are buying mellows. I don't understand. But anyway, we're cashing that. And we're also going to cash in 581,000 MT for Kazzy Russell and 360k for Thon Maker. Now, we sold OJ, we sold Nikola Jokic, and then this is what we got out of the box. So, pretty damn good. 8,000 for the Opal Nikola Jokic, 18,000 for the diamond contract, 52k for Wang. What a brilliant pink diamond pull that was. Are we going to hit 3 mil? I don't think we are. Thon Maker 360. It sucks. Um, that is a loss of 50,000 MT. You don't like to see it, but more than that, 55,000 MT. Uh, and then Kazi Russell, 581k, it's profit. If Thon was a little bit higher, I'd have been very happy about today. Sadly, it wasn't. He sold for 520, went for 40, so 80,000 MT profit off of uh, Kazi Russell. And we are now back at 2.9 mil with this team still intact. So we can't, be, we can't be mad at it too much, can we? Uh, but let, let's talk about this team, boys, because today we've been on an absolute streak. Like I said, we turned into JD with today. I don't know how, I don't know why, um, but things just have worked out very, very well. This card is is a card that everybody should have. Now, obviously, yes, he does cost over a million MT. He's very expensive. But if you can afford him, and if you're one of those people that sits on a lot of MT and thinks, ah, oh, no card's worth that in the game, this card is worth it. 100%. I cannot recommend him enough. He is an absolute game changer. Giannis, very, very strong at the two. I feel like I could get the same out of this one with 40 off badges as I could out of like a normal one. I mean, maybe not. This one does have, you know, blinders and sniper and glue hands and whatnot and hot zone. It does make him a much better shooter. He's brilliant. KD coming through with the brick wall, the interceptor. Um, yeah, he's a god. The relief, he just doesn't miss. If he's wide open, you can book it. It's going down. This guy, new into the starting lineup after we sold Thon Maker. For the price he's at, guys, this is a top-tier elite card. You don't need, you don't even need extra badges on him. You can get this guy for 20,000 MT, or maybe 25k. One absolute steal. He is fantastic. You see, I haven't even added gold badges to him, never mind Hall of Fame badges. He doesn't even have Dead Eye on him. Whoops. I'll be playing with Jonathan Isaac without Dead Eye. Whoops, um, absolutely fantastic. He's six foot ten or six foot eleven with a seven foot something wingspan. I'm pretty sure. Um, yeah, he's brilliant. Dikembe, if you haven't taken Dikembe out of the token market and you are sitting on thousands of tokens, take Dikembe from the token market. My favourite centre in the game right now. I used Cream for a little bit and then we sold him to make a little bit of MT. Um, my my favourite centre in the game right now. Defensively, so good. And if you can't afford Michael Jordan, which like a lot of people can't, this guy ain't bad. This guy ain't bad at all. Zach Levine uh, coming in at around 300-ish thousand. At 250k, and that was literally just ending. It does have a diamond shield, a diamond contract, so maybe that's selling for a little bit more than a standard one, but you can easily get Zach Levine for 300k with plenty of change, probably about 250k if you time it right. He is brilliant. Like, he is really... Let's see if this one goes up at all. I don't think it did. Uh, he, he is brilliant. Really, really nice off the bench when MJ does get a bit tired. Because we do, we do use our bench quite a lot. Um, as long as the person stays past half time, and today not many that did, which is awesome. But yeah, Zach Levine is fantastic. The Kazi Russell, we sold one with 38 half badges, we then picked one up, a normal one, uh, with no extra half badges, and he's just as good. He's not just as good, the other one was better, but th this is still a brilliant Kazi. He just gives you that confidence when you shoot with that base three on quick, you could just pull it, and the defender's not going to get to you, and it's just a dream. So, like, if you're going, if you're working on a budget, like, Okay, we need a different three. I mean, if you've got Albert King from Clutch Time, then, you know, you're vibing. Uh, but even Vince, you know, a lot of people got Vince. This starting five here is not too dissimilar. I mean, I run four of these five players in my rotation, just in different, you know, off the bench and some starting. And then Vince we have used before. You could use this team. Jonathan Isaac is like 25k. Casley Russell's like 25k. Zach Levine's 300k. The Kem is 1,000 tokens and Vince Carter is free. And that is an incredible, incredible team. Obviously, it's not as good as KD, Giannis and MJ, 
but these guys collectively cost me 3 million MT. So, you can definitely make do with lower rated cards. And also, shout out to this guy today, Boogie. First time ever using him, like, properly. He was actually a bit of a menace. He's actually a bit of a demon. Um, again, no badges, no shoes, no nothing. Actually really impressed with uh, Boogie Cousins. So, yeah, he's going to stay off the bench. This team is not going to change um, because, you know, if you're winning, if you've gone on a level and won, you don't change things. You keep things as they are. So things have gone very, very well today. We have thought about badging out a player. Um, you know, this Mellow here has only got 35 hoffs and it is at 1 mil or 800k. If I could have made this 40, then I would have sent it because there's not a single 40 Hoff Mellow up on the auction house right now. We have post spin, we have pickpocket, and we have set shooter, I believe. We've got set shooter, um, but then that is it, which is a shame. So we can make that 38, but I don't think that's going to stand out enough. And then, yeah, I had eyes on this 37, which which sucks, because I was more than that. I was going to spend a million MT. A million MT was my budget on this card, because we had four badges to add to it, post spin, pickpocket, box, and set shooter. We have four, and uh, yeah, I was going to put a million MT on it. Maybe it would have sold for two million MT, but now we will never know because somebody's already put 1.2 million MT on it. Make it make sense. And there's another one at 37, which is already at 1.4 million MT. I think it's because these cards are so rare and the fact that nobody's well, nobody's got any Hoff badges left. Uh, but I've never seen prices for such a low amount of Hoff badges. You would expect to see that consistently on cards over 40, but not cards just in the 30s. So yeah, Mellow's gone crazy. And then Jim Jimmer. Uh, there is one which we will monitor, but I think it's going to go for a stupid high price anyway. Uh, it is 40... Have I gone past it? 41 Jimmy, which obviously somebody's already found here. There we go. Uh, 41 Jimmy. I could add four. Four. You can make a 45... Jimmy Butler. Now this one, um, 6.7 mil. This was 54, so we'd still be nine short of that, which is just stupid. 54 is the most off badges uh, of any player, as far as I'm aware. Uh, but yeah, this Jimmy, if we get it for 1.2, we'll send. If not, we will save. And then the other purchase that we're looking to do, honestly, we're going to sell the team up tomorrow after we get Bob, but... It's going to be very hard for me to let go of MJ, so I am still looking for a replacement MJ, one that isn't graded, and one that has Hall of Fame rim protector. That glue hands. No rim protector. Um, yeah, if we find an MJ with rim protect, I will substitute him, and ungraded as well. I'll substitute it. What's this one got? Anything, anything, anything? Big sad. And that's it, and they graded Grim. Uh, but other than that, KD will be gone, and Giannis will be gone so that is going to do it for me today everybody i hope you did enjoy we did a little bit of hoff badge roulette 31 yarnis is at 700k oh my god and in unlimited today we have gone 12 and 1 and tomorrow will hopefully be a very good day that's good do it for me hope you guys have enjoyed as usual please like, subscribe i'll see you next time and peace